Hello, hello. I have a bit of a funny challenge for us today. I'm a bit sick of all the class challenges. Well, not sick of them. I've just kind of run out of ones that I have any interest in. <laughs> I guess that's the same thing. Um, so I sort of came up with one where you have to take how many things? Three, six, six, yes, six things that are on the desk in front of you at your, like, wherever you make your Sims videos, and you have to make Sims based on them, and luckily I have some really fun stuff on my desk, but we're gonna do our best. Uh, I have a little cow vacuum, he's, like, the size of my hand, he vacuums up all my, like, dirt from my plants and stuff. I have a little orange snail. He's actually a bath toy that I found at Target, um, but pretty on theme. And then I have a pink trash can in the corner, a plant right next to me, a pair of glasses in front of me, and a vase that's shaped like a strawberry. So I somehow have to make sims that match these things. Um, luckily for me, I think I have cow CC, but I'm pretty sure it's for women. No? Okay, wait, we found one for men. So, I guess we're getting right into it for my usual, I usually think I'm going to make a nice, fun intro, and then I just get excited and I go for it. Alright, I think that's at least a pretty chill first outfit, but let's see, if he's a vacuum, he needs to be clean, right? <laughs> oh, this is such a weird challenge. I'm for it, though. I hope I pull it off. He needs to be clean. The cow vacuum I have is sleeping, so maybe he's lazy? <laughs> no, he's a perfectionist. I feel like a vacuum would be a perfectionist. Um, and then I'm trying to think. The little vacuum I have has little green horns, but maybe we could just do a hat. Sorry, not green, yellow, yellow horns, but we could do like a hat like this instead. Um... I don't really know how to show you the thing that I have without taking pictures and my desk is a mess. So you're just going to have to trust me on this. <laughs> and then I have to somehow do this for every outfit. So before I figure out all the outfits, I at least want to get them set up. The second one we have is our orange snail. She already has... So the snail I have is orange like on his slimy part and then like a like mustardy color on his shell so I'm thinking this is kind of the orange that the slimy part is so we've already got the shoes so we need like a mustard outfit I don't even know if I like this color no darker than that like this color yeah maybe that color <laughs> we'll see um it's gonna depend what oranges I have that is too orange that's a little better actually that's more the color I'm looking for so I have to go find that color somewhere else in game <laughs> I'm not really sure what I was thinking when I decided this is the challenge I wanted to do today but we've already started so we must continue no hold on I kind of want to do the color thing but then I have to change it every time and I'm not really about that so we're going blind here it's got to be all mustard the Sims is not great at that. It likes to do this, which is great because you're not supposed to color match like I do. Oh, that would have been perfect if it wasn't for this stupid red shirt. Okay. I'll keep going. Maybe this one? All right, that'll work. And then the hair, the black eyes actually is perfect. He has like this little tiny old mouth. I wonder if I can show these afterwards. We'll see <laughs> if I can post pictures of them. <laughs> Um, and then the hair needs to probably be the same color as the shoes. Do we have orange? Hold on, that's eyebrows. That's probably the closest I'm gonna get. She's so cute! And she's already kind of like the right shape for a shell, so I love it. Okay, and then a snail would be really lazy, right? And slow. So, do snail eat fish? No, they they eat green. So she's probably a, not a green fiend. Where is it? A vegetarian. Oh, that was terrifying. Well, green fiend as well because they like the animation. And then where's lazy? Lazy. <laughs> okay, so there's our snail. Let me double check I'm going in order. Yeah, the third one is a pink trash can. He's already got the pink in his hair. 
Um, maybe if I can just get the eyes to be... That's kind of too dark. I don't like the gloss. Oh, that's scary. No, that's too... That's worse. I have so many pink eyes, but none of them... Oh my gosh, why did I get eyes without pupils? What was I thinking? Alright, well, it's either... No, that one, which I don't like. Or that one, which I also don't like. <laughs> uh, that's purple. That's back to the no eyes. Do I really only have three types of eyes with just a bunch of colors? I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Alright, well, we're going for these. <laughs> the prettiest man you've seen in a long time. I actually really like that, but I wonder if I can make his beard pink. Oh, because it is like this type of pink. Let me see if the hair... Oh, well, we've got blue if I do that. I think that's much better. Okay. And then my trash can is pretty straight and narrow, so I'm just gonna see if I can get him literally like stick thin. There we go. There we are. And then we need pink. That's almost close. The freezer bunny would actually be really cute for this. That's pink. That's the pink I want. And then I'm gonna do pink, yeah, all the way down. But I need a lighter pink than that. Let me see. This one? Yes! Okay, and then do we have pink shoes? This is actually the easiest. Oh, I should have put, like, because he has, like, a little trash can. Oh, when I guess the top is a different color pink. Well, this is darker. This is darker than this pink. I can't really do what I want in The Sims. I don't have the hair colors I need for it. But, like, this could be, like, his little his little liner. I know technically it should be maybe the gloves as well. Like, the little trash liner. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is, uh, this is an interesting choice. Oh, these are actually, like, the perfect color see-through. And a bit terrifying. He looks like he could murder me. All right, trash would be gross. Oh, free again. It's got a trash can. I'm going to take it. Oh, and it has a little trash thing. And then a slob is also got the trash thing. <laughs> yeah, it's it doesn't smell great. So sorry, sir. Okay, and then next up we have my plant. Okay, my plant. So she's obviously gonna need green hair and then like brown soil, maybe for like the pants and the shoes, and then like a darker stem for her, for her, um, for like the top. So if this is the stem, this is the pot, then we gotta make her really skinny. <laughs> so sorry, love. You were looking perfect, but. Oh, that would be cute. That would be the stem color. And then, like, these would be leaves. Oh, my gosh. This is working out great for me. And then soil. Soil's, like, this color. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess her legs... I'm going to try to match her legs with the bottoms here, actually. Do we have a better brown than this? <gasps> That's pretty. Oh, my gosh. I might have to do that even though it doesn't count nearly for what I want. That's pretty. And then, like, maybe she has some moss on top. And then, like, actual dirt shoes. <laughs> She's the, my favorite. All right, she should have been the green fiend. Let me go back work to the snail lady and take off green fiend. Excuse me. Thank you. So I guess they each get two traits. So if my plant is a green fiend, what other green traits do we even have optional to me? Squeamish? I mean, if it was like a picky plant, it would be squeamish. Recycle disciple? Maybe because it's like a compost, like the earth composts itself. Um, <clears throat> what else could I have done? I think that's probably the best option okay we'll do not squeamish we'll do recycle disciple for her oh she also has trash that's nice um 
All right, and then glasses. Your entire personality is just a pair of glasses. And the ones that I have are like, hold on, we are in the wrong category. Not like these, but like, what do you call this, tortoise shell? So maybe, do I have, this is the one I put on the swim, yeah, like those, these are actually my exact glasses almost. <laughs> Um, so that's his whole personality. So we're going for browns again, I guess. Quite boring, if you ask me. Did they have brown and black? Brown and blue. Brown and brown! Okay, that works. And then, I don't know, maybe pants that have a pattern? Alright, we'll do those. <laughs> and I don't even know what these shoes are, but they're wrong. Maybe these? Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> there's that one. And I actually might not end up doing all the outfits for them. I don't think it's fun. I think just the first outfit. Uh, okay, so then last but not least on my desk, I have a vase that is in the shape Maybe. of a strawberry. Marnie? This is going to require some CC searching. I have like three strawberry things. Oh, wait, I just saw one. Is it that one? No. Oh, that's my rose thing. I need to remember this for the rose gen. Somebody remind me. That's cute. Alright, I'm getting distracted. I saw here, strawberry. So that's definitely an option, but it's kind of like strawberries, whereas I want her to be shaped like a strawberry. That could be cute. And then we could give her like, oh, I guess my scenes on my strawberry have black and green. So we could give her black hair and green eyebrows. Oh, and she has green eyes. No, she has green eyes. So hold on, green hair maybe? Are there any hairs that have a different shade green? Yeah. That's the green that I have. I obviously probably don't have any eyebrows to match. So we'll make black eyebrows. And then the seeds are like black eyes. Oh, that's pretty! Where were these eyes when I was on the men? Is that the closest I can get to black? Probably. Or we could keep these with like the black seeds and the green. I think I'll keep that. Um, so, I don't know. I like just said I wasn't gonna do more than one outfit, but I know I have strawberry CC. So let me just go find another option for our first outfit. That's cute. In red. Oh, but we don't have any white on my strawberry. Oh, that is a very low cut top. I swear I have other strawberry CC. It's going to bother me now. No. There's a zebra print. If I had a zebra, I would have been prepared. Let me do one more quick glance. Okay, so that strawberry we tried already... Are any of these strawberries? Oh, that's a cute red, though. I feel like that's way cuter for a strawberry. It's kind of got the shape. So hold on, we need bigger shoulders. I'm so sorry, I gotta pull your hips in to make like a heart shape. Like a nice little yummy strawberry. <laughs> There we go. I like that. I know I was going to look for more strawberry CC. That's cute. That would also be good. But I like what we've got. Maybe if we do leggings as well, we can get some more red in there. I know I have red leggings somewhere. Ooh, or like these would be kind of like the, the seeds as well. That would be a cute drawing. Okay, and then do I have a brighter red than that? Oh, that covers my new thing that I picked. That's not, that's still pink. What the heck? I could do these. 
No, maybe... They're all the same. Excuse me? I want red. Red! Okay, actually, that's cute. Red or, or black? Maybe black for the seeds as well. Okay, so here's our strawberry gal. And I might pause and go and do the other outfits and just see if it's possible. And if they succeed, I will show you. But for now, let's give her some traits. Uh, loves the outdoors and a foodie. Perfect. Okay. Oh, he's a mermaid. I forgot to do his mermaid form. Oh, he's actually already perfect. He's in character. He understood the assignment. A geek and a bookworm. Perfect. Oh, hold on. This is our glasses guy. This is our plant lady. And she's apparently a vampire. So just consider that for a moment. Our pink trash can. <laughs> His first name's just gonna be Pink. Pink trash can. Whoops. Um, what else? Trash can. Oh, our orange snail. So this is our snail gal. And last but not least, our first one was our cow. Oops. Oh, I'm going to make it cowboy. I forgot I, I need to change that. I saved capital C to be my screenshot thing, and it's obviously a poor choice. Cowboy. <laughs> okay, I guess they need aspirations. Let me go pop those in really quick, and I'll give you a tour of all our characters at the very end. I'll see you in a second. Okay, please ignore her doing magic. I did find some pictures of the objects that aren't terrible. So, oops, for reference, here is the strawberry. And we found a few more outfits for her as well. If you notice, she does look a little bit different. We have our formal wear, our athletic wear, our sleep wear, our party wear, our swim wear, hot weather wear, and these are like the little seeds, which I thought was cute. And I did find another strawberry CC, so that's fun. And finally, our warm weather wear. So she's probably the most normal other than our glasses guy. So let me show you the glasses I'm talking about. So these are the ones I have that I was referencing. He also got a nice little makeover. So he now has a formal wear. Sportswear, sleepwear, party wear, uh, swimwear. That was actually really fun. Uh, he, he, he spawned with this hat, so I let him keep it. It was brown. Hot weather wear and cold weather wear. So I finally get to use this sweater. I thought it matched really nicely. We also have our plant lady. So let me pop over and show you my plant. So this is the plant that I was looking at in real life. And she now also has formal wear i love it i actually had so much fun with her hair with this it took me forever i'm glad you guys weren't there for it uh sportswear sleepwear party wear swimwear she honestly is my favorite uh hot weather wear and cold weather wear so i thought kind of like maybe her leaves would kind of pull up for the winter when they're cold uh so i did that with her hair. no i changed my mind the trash can guy is absolutely 100 percent off the bat my favorite and let me show you the trash can i think it's a pretty good match uh but let me know what you think so he has his fancy outfit his sleep outfit oh i skipped one his sports outfit his party outfit and i gave him the like cooking gloves the whole time like the liner of the trash can i got innovative here um his swimwear his hot weather outfit and his cold weather outfit and then our snail gal i can't wait for you guys to see how accurate the colors are on this one because you know color swatches and me don't go well so here's our snail that i was looking at she now also has 
a fancy outfit, a sporty outfit, a sleeping outfit, a party outfit, a swim outfit. And I thought this was really cute to kind of have the snail. I mean, the snails, the flowers for the snails. Um, the, what am I on? Hot weather outfit and the cold weather outfit. Seriously, you guys should be so happy I didn't make you sit through trying to find all the stuff to match. But I did have a grand old time. And then finally, we have my cow vacuum. It's kind of hard not to know what I'm talking about without seeing it. So here is our reference picture. I'm actually going to move it up a bit so that you can see pretty good match if I do say so myself and this was really hard because I do not have a lot of cow cc so I kind of just went black and white and then the game has this cute ha cow hat and then I kind of tried to keep those little yellow horns as part of his outfit and the black hooves and then I kept the yellow because I thought it was really cute down here as well um oh I don't have anything yellow this is just black and white he his horns have gone to sleep as well apparently uh, I found this cow jumper from the game as well, and then we kept our little horns as our hats. I put the horns as eyeglasses here. And I did find this CC hat that actually works for men as well, so I'm quite happy there. Let me see if I know. I don't know who makes it. Um, if you want to know, let me know. I'll try to find it. And then finally, I thought this was like the inverse of a cow. So this is his cold weather wear. If you had fun, let me know. I'm sorry I like blacked out the screen for a second in the middle. I can't do anything. I refuse to edit these videos at this point. Uh, I am committed. So I will see you again next time. And if you like this challenge, please do it yourself and like tag me in it. I will be back. Bye.